between the front and boxes and your Avro Blue Bombardiers. Now that my AA on Avro High School are committed to maintain the true spirit of competition for athletics. Integrity, fairness, and respect are the principles of good sportsmanship. And these are lifetime values taught through athletics. You are the spokesperson for your school when you attend an athletic event. Your actions are viewed by family and friends, opposing fans, the local community, and the media. Your display of good sportsmanship will demonstrate the most positive things about you and your school. Now let's meet the starting lineup tonight for your Brockton Boxers. Gentlemen, boys and girls, basketball fans of all ages, welcome onto the campus of Attleboro High School where tonight your Brockton Boxers come to town in the first round of the MIAA South Sectional Tournament. As always, I'm Matt Dog, Matt Nelson, taking the trip down Route 123 today and I'm joined alongside my broadcast partner, of course, for the one athletic period. director. You got for one, one, for one for period. For one quarter, Mr. Kevin Caro. Mr. Caro, a lot of hype into the Brockton boxes. The regular season ended, Jelani Jackson scoring 1,000 points in uh, the last game at home against the Carver uh, Crusaders. There's a lot of momentum for these Brockton boxes with a five-game win streak on the line. Uh, 
in the last five games of the regular season, not counting that Norwell Invitational Tournament. Yeah. But there's a lot of momentum for the Brockton Boxers coming in. There is. There's a lot of momentum, and I've seen them. They've, they've had a great week of practice. Um, just having fun and playing together, I think that they've really gotten better as the season's progressed, and now it's just one game at a time. I mean, and, um, it's really like starting the season over again. So I'm, ex I'm excited for this. Sarah Deo winning the opening tip back to number 23, Mish Logie. Logie back to number 44, Samantha Pierce. And Brockton getting in the passing lane but knocking it out of bounds. Attleboro will start over with 16 on the shot clock. Of course, being on the road, the Brockton Boxers donning their all new black yeah, jerseys. I, I, like the the, I like the black unis better than I do the white ones. I'm not going to lie to you. I concur. I concur. I like them. A three pointer off the back of the rim, no good. Michaela Robinson with the rebound, stepping out of bounds with it. So Attleboro will start fresh. Now you wouldn't think that any calls will get missed tonight with a three person crew, right? You would think. However, there were a number that went uncalled last night. Gennaros ripping down the rebound, throwing it up to Michaela Robinson in alone off the glass oh. and a little bit too much mustard. Jelani Jackson with the rebound, bad angle layup, no good. Fernandez throwing the rebound to number 20, Julia oh, Strachan. That's gonna be a Brockton ball. Out of bounds off of Attleboro. Attleboro is wearing their home white jerseys with blue trim. The blue bombardiers, not to be confused with their cohorts from the north. The North Attleboro Red Rocketeers. Okay. Jelani Jackson out to Michaela Robinson. Thought about the three. Gives it out to Gennaros. Loses it between her legs. Gets it back. Spinning with it. Gives it to Jelani Jackson. Jackson to Michaela they're, Robinson. They're patient. I like it. And they're not forcing. They just got to be careful with that ball. And that's going to be a jump. And position arrow. Brockton will retain possession. Good work by Michaela Robinson to recover. And Alex Gennaros sending it into Jelani Jackson. Seven on the shot clock. Michaela Robinson to Gennaros. Three on the shot clock. Jackson's going to throw up a prayer from way downtown nope. off the rim. No good. Resets the shot clock. Fernandez able to throw it. Gonna, they should get that. Michaela Robinson coming down with it. Good work by the Brockton Boxers. Gennaros for three oh is boy. off the back of the rim. Oh, no I good. that was good. Brianna Santos coming down with the steal. To Gennaros, back to Santos. Stop and pop two, and Brockton takes first blood. A minute and 40 seconds into the first quarter. Brockton up two to nothing. Well, that was some good offensive rebounding and good hustle. And now a three for number 20, Julia Strachan. Two minutes into the first quarter. Santos pump oh. fake and is called for the travel. Three to two, Attleboro on top. Mish Logie, the 5'8 senior. Across the half court line, working against Jelani Jackson. Now a long two off the back of the rim, no good. Gennaros with the rebound, but lost it. Attleboro comes up with a loose ball. That's a good block. It's a real good block. I think they match up. I mean, I know it's early and we're only two minutes in, but um, you know, our girls match up very well with this team. Santos down low Another off girl. the glass and in. Brockton with the 4-3 lead, 5.15 to go in the first quarter. Logie working her way inside, kicks it out. A rainbow three off the back of the rim, no good. Gennaros can't handle the rebound. Be, that should be going our way. And, and it, it is. is. That's good hustle. Jelani Jackson setting up the Brockton offense. Throwing it over to Michaela Robinson. Robinson working against Grace Mayer. I like how they're moving the ball. I mean, they just move, ah, but they can't afford to do that. Good effort by Michaela oh, Robinson, and Jackson's going to call for the mm. travel. 
No, but I like the way that they're moving the ball. They're really moving it, making the defense shift, looking for a nice open shot. And Logie on the far side of the court. Hey, it's weird coming into Steps a small gym bounds. like this after being in us all season long. Because I really don't travel that much out of, uh, unless tournament time comes. And this is a We small, saw the weird setup last gym. night yeah. at Durfee High School. Of course, a very, very large gym. Not very wide, but very no, long. very long. And I just think that, honestly, to shoot, if you're not used to that, like depth perception, all that open space behind the backboard. It takes a while, and obviously it did with us yesterday. Fernandez driving baseline, three on the oh, shot clock. that's too bad. <laughs> out of bounds off of Vattleboro, number 12 making her way into the game, Jordan Laco. Of course, this gym is sort of wide but not very long so no, a little bit the opposite a, of what we saw last night underneath the basket this gym reminds me of East Junior High yeah sure it does Gennaro started oh, in that's for a good pass too and Alicia Fernandez it touched yep. okay so Julia Strachan on the way out so Brockton retains possession 19 on the shot clock 351 in the period Santos down low, bad angle off the glass, no good. Out Rebound to Fernandez off the glass and in. And Brockton has a six to three lead. Winner of this game, of course, will head Go on to, Mansfield. to <laughs> face the number one seed in Mansfield Hornets. Counted in one for Strachan. Will be at the line for the first attempts from the charity stripe tonight. I have to ask, where's, where's Mr. Miles? His Your niece's birthday. He couldn't have gone later. That's what curious. I said. <laughs> Straight and good on the attempt. So all tied up six to six with three and a half minutes to go in the first period. Gennaro to Jackson. Jackson out to Robinson. Robinson rainbow three a little bit too long. Now Gennaros for two is Attica. good. A lot of things, if you notice with Alexandra, that she has such a good habit, she squares the ball up every single time she gets the ball. Stop and pop floater off the front of the rim, no good. Getting her own rebound was Sarah Deo. And now falling, no foul called. No, that was no foul. She fell, there was a tangle of feet. That was a good no call, in my opinion. Samantha Pierce nailing along to Jelani Jackson, one handing it up for Gennaros. Gennaros bouncing it to Fernandez. Get in there. Counted and one for Annalicia Fernandez. That a girl. A block called against number 32, Sarah Deo, the six foot senior. Annalicia Fernandez to bring the lead back to three for the Brockton Boxers. A little bit short. Michaela Robinson gets the rebound. Jackson to oh, Santos off the bad. front that of the rim. Fernandez great. with the rebound. She works hard to oh, create boy. some space. And a timeout called by the Attleboro Blue Bombardiers. Back and forth action yeah. here in the first quarter. Oh, but I'm, really, I'm really impressed with the hustle, the offensive rebounding, getting to the loose balls. I mean, that's what they did the last five games before the tournament. Well, as we started to touch on a very busy week for Brockton Boxer Athletics last yeah. night, we were down at Fall River for the boys' oh. first round matchup. What a finish that was, 58-57, the final Second score in that one. Second half was a lot better than Oh first yeah, half. yeah, that's putting it loose. Oh man, both teams struggling to put anything in. But you know what? They, they're hung tough, they play good defense, and they live to see another day. And if you have to say that the odds have to be in their favor that maybe one of these days their shots are gonna fall, 
I mean, they, One would hope. They, they did it a few times earlier in the year, and they, I mean, they beat a couple teams by 30 and 40, and they even beat Constable by 50, which it seems like everything they threw up went in. So strange things happen. That's why tournament time's the best. You just keep winning and you keep playing and never count out the, the boxers. Of course, the BCA traveling road show down 495 and 123 tonight in Attleboro, Massachusetts. And then Friday. Tomorrow night we'll be in Mansfield. And then Friday night. Friday night we'll be. <laughs> Calo Arena. Down Route 3 over the bridge over through the, the bridge. rotary. Yeah. At Gallo Ice Arena for the boxer hockey team and their first round matchup against last year's state champion, Franklin. As Elizabeth Williams checking in the game. Williams Another in. freshman. Michaela Robinson out. A lot of young talent on this team. Of course, the graduating seniors, Jelani Jackson and Brianna Santos. Looks like they will be not replaced, but their holes will be filled in a little bit by Alex Gennaros and Elizabeth Williams. Jump ball forced. Attleboro will have the ball with two minutes and six seconds to go in the first quarter. Well, I know there's some good eighth grade talent down in the middle schools coming up for girls basketball. And I had a couple of girls over at South when I was there last year. And um, no, I, I wouldn't be surprised if we had a couple more. A three. Come on up. No good. Rebound to number 12. She puts it off the glass. And then Jordan Laco, the 5'6 sophomore. And Attleboro has their first lead of the game, 11 to 10. And Lisa, oh, she got blocked. Loose ball. Santos diving for it. Oh, Throws wow. it out to Williams. Excellent. Second effort now, Jelani Jackson oh, is nice. good for three. Wow. 13 to 11 in favor of the Brockton Boxers. 120 to go, and we're gonna have the first look of the game at Jade Wint. Of course, coming alive is Jelani Jackson in alone off the steal, all the way off the glass and in. Of course, Jade went 16 rebounds, 16 points against the Abington Green Wave. Now a three for Strachan is good. 15-14 in what is quickly becoming a shootout. Jelani Jackson one-handing it to Gennaros. Uh, Gennaros tipped deflected. midway. Yeah. And Samantha Pierce over to Naya Thomas. Oh, almost, almost jumped the route there. That's good defense that they're playing. I mean, they're getting their hands up and blocking balls. A lot of intercepted passes. Attleboro yeah. calling for the Ooh, deflection out of I Brockton. I think we just got one. Yeah, we got one. <laughs> yeah, we did. All right, Matt, you got me for 24 more seconds. Jade Wint. Fouled as she got the ball to would you, see it? would you like to maybe get uh, another former athletic director down here with me, Mr. Kenny? It wouldn't hurt. It wouldn't Living hurt. Living legend himself, my mentor. We could we could switch off ADs every quarter. Gennaros for three. That's it's good. good. 15 seconds to go. Brockton with a four-point edge, 18 to 14. I don't know, I think it may be good luck for you to be sitting so close to the Brockton bench. So I don't like being this close, I have to be honest with you. I don't think it's fair to the coaches. Just wait till Friday night at Gallo. No, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not up there, I told you. Last week was my last broadcast of the year. No, I want to go up and enjoy this as a spectator. Fernandez holding the ball off of the block shot and the buzzer sounds. The first quarter has come to an end. 18 to 14 in favor of your Brockton boxers. Jelani Jackson and Alex Gennaro scoring a number of those points. Certainly helped by Brianna Santos. So 18 to 14, the score at the end of the first quarter. We're gonna step aside and take a short break and bring you second quarter action right after this. Hey Gabby, how you doing? How was the play date and sleepover? Dad, it was great. 
Awesome. Okay, I'm on my way. Hey, guys, what are you doing? We're going swimming. We're going biking. Yeah. I'll see you in a little bit, guys. I love you. Hi, babe. How was school today? Hi, Dad. It was great. Okay, honey. I'll be home soon. Remember, you're never too far away from your kids to be a dad. Reach out and take a second to check in because sometimes the smallest moments can have the biggest impact on a child's life. Ladies, gentlemen, boys and girls, basketball fans of all ages, welcome back into Attleboro High School for tonight's first round MIAA South sectional matchup between your Brockton Boxers and the Attleboro Blue Bombardiers. I'm Mad Dog Matt Nelson. Bringing you all the action courtside here down Route 123. Jackson to Gennaros. The score is 18 to 14. Excuse me, in favor of the boxers. A couple of tie-ups. And Rory Hopkins comes away with it. And now a travel called on Sarah Deo, the six-foot senior. 20 seconds into the second quarter. Brockton, of course, wearing their away black jerseys, white stripe down the side, and red trim around the white numbers. Attleboro with their home whites. Blue stripe down the side. Now Brianna Santos for three, no good. Attleboro coming down with the rebound. Down low for number four, who throw, able to throw to Deo, who spins, shoots up and in. 18 to 16, one possession game for the Attleboro Blue Bombardiers. Jade went down low, driving baseline, trying to bounce it to Santos, instead kicks it out to Alex Gennaros, her floater no good. And a foul called against Brianna Santos. Williams in and Alicia Fernandez taking a breather on the bench. Mish Logie throwing it in to number 12, Jordan Laco. <laughs> Offensive foul called against Jordan Laco. Football pass up to Jelani Jackson, who is double teamed over to Gennaros. Gennaros back to Jackson. Jackson stopping, popping long two off the glass, no good. Williams with the offensive board, kicks it out to Santos. Back to Jackson, over to Gennaros. Gennaros, plenty of room, takes a three and nails it. 21 to 16, Brockton on top by five, 620 to go in the first half. Brockton calling for the ball. It will be an Attleboro ball. Kim White takes a breather in favor of Julia Strachan. Strachan in, deflected off the hand of Brianna Santos. Jelani Jackson chasing down the loose ball up to Gennaros. Gennaros back to Jackson, wide open three from five feet beyond the arc, and it's nothing but net, and a timeout called by the Attleboro Blue Bombardiers. You talk about big shots, Jelani Jackson just hit one to put the boxers up by eight, 24 to 16, 556 left in the second quarter. Full house here at Attleboro in support of their Blue Bombardiers. Brockton getting a number of big shots. And you talk about turning points. Lonnie Jackson and her big three from way downtown might have sent a jolt of electricity through the veins of the Brockton, Brockton boxers against the eight-seated Blue Bombardiers. Attleboro coming in at 15 and seven. Brockton at 12 and eight. Brockton finishing the season on a lengthy winning streak. Just 
five games at last count against Carver and then heading off to the exclusionary Mansfield tournament. Laco across half court. Worked on by Elizabeth Williams, the freshman, down low to Sarah Deo. Deo in, and it's taken away. A couple bodies hit the floor. Three for Strachan off the back of the rim. No good. Brianna Santos one-handing the rebound, and it's taken by number 12, Laco. And she puts it off the glass and in. Jackson to Santos to Williams. Thought about the three. Gives it back to Santos. Handing off to Gennaros. Back to Santos. Step back three is no good. Brought down by Deo. Gennaros ripping the ball away. And a fresh chance to inbounds for the Blue Bombardiers. Mish Logie. And another offensive foul. Maddie Brown called for the foul as Jade went to take a breather on the bench. Gennaros in for Williams, up to Jackson. Jackson over to Santos. The ball deflecting to Williams. Williams looking for Gennaros. Gennaros has tapped out of her hands, finds Santos. Getting around a couple of blue bombardiers off the glass, no good. Fernandez with the offensive board, putting it up, no call. And Julia Strachan coming down with the rebound. Strachan over to Logie. Logie intercepted by Annalisa Fernandez. Quickly up to Jelani Jackson, to Gennaro. Stop and pop along two, no good, just short. Fernandez offensive board straight up and in. 26-18, 4.15 left to go in the second quarter. Brockton up by eight. Ball finding the open hands of Jelani Jackson. Jackson slowing up the boxer offense. Fernandez inside, finds a hole, throws it up off the glass and rim. No good, Strachan with the rebound. Strachan over to number 12, Laco. Strachan thought about the three, instead takes a two from the charity stripe. Couple bounces off the rim and in. So 26-20, six point edge for the boxers. Brown to Santos to Fernandez. Fernandez handing off to Gennaros. Jade Wint is going to come back into the game. Gennaros all the way in, wild layup is good. Waco bouncing it over to Logie. Logie to Sarah Dale. And a foul called against Brianna Santos. Called for the arm bar. Jade went back in. Brianna Santos will come out. Twenty-eight to twenty, three minutes and eight seconds left. Straight and short jumper, no good. Brought down by Logie. A long three for Samantha Pierce. The 5'11 junior is good. Rockin with a five point edge now. Williams up to Jackson. Jackson stepping back. Long across for Annalicia Fernandez. Fernandez stops and pops for two, no good. Brought down by Gennaros. Gennaros run into, call for the travel. A push, if anything, on Alex Gennaros. And she was run into. Foul called. Against Jelani Jackson before the ball was in play. Two and a half to go in what is becoming an action-packed shootout here at Attleboro High School. Grace Mayer all the way in off the glass and in. And a timeout called by head coach April Dingwell. 
Three-point edge for the boxers, 28 to 25. Brockton up by three. 221 to go in the second quarter. Brianna Santos going to come back into the game for Brockton. So Attleboro mounting a little bit of a comeback late in the second quarter. Again, the winner of this game moves on to play the top-seeded Mansfield Hornets. Mansfield coming in at 18 and two. Of course, the Brockton High boys basketball team tomorrow night will face the Mansfield Hornets. The boys team coming in at 20 and two, of course, with two exclusionary games that didn't count towards their overall winning percentage. Five boxers on the floor, Jelani Jackson, Jade Wint, Brianna Santos, and Alicia Fernandez, and Alex Gennaro, Brockton going for the jumbo set. Santos handing off to Jackson. Jackson to Santos to Wint to Fernandez, coming up and down with it. And a travel called on Annalisa Fernandez with 2.07 to go. Stretching over to Logie. Logie, the 5'8 senior captain. Stopping and popping is Grace Mayer off the back of the room, offensive board. And followed on her way back up was Sarah Deo, and she'll be at the line for two shots. Brianna Santos called for that hit. Robinson in. And Annalisa Fernandez will take a breather. Go for two at the line, and now missing a short jumper. Offensive board, yet another offensive board. A jump ball called, good work by Brianna Santos, but it will remain a Attleboro ball. Jordan Laco in, Mish Logie comes out. A little bit of confusion from the official on whose ball it should be. It will remain an Attleboro ball. Quickly in off the glass, no good. Number 44 begging for a call. Samantha Pierce won't get it. Gennaros on the other end is fouled on her way to the basket by Sarah Deo. Some not so nice things being yelled at the officials by the Attleboro fan section. Gennaro around the rim and out. Mishlogi in Grace Mayer takes a seat on the Blue Bombardier bench. Minute 35 to go in the second quarter, 28-25 as Gennaros goes 0 for 2 from the charity stripe. Three point edge and has been that way for a few minutes now for the Brockton Boxers. One and a half to go in the first half. Laco over to Julius Strachan. Strachan nowhere to go with it. Good work by Michaela Robinson. Off the glass and in for Deo. And to a one point ball game we go. Jelani Jackson looking to change that for the Brockton Boxers. Michaela Robinson. Robinson forcing it to Gennaros. Gennaros in for Jade Wint. Wint stops and pops. Turnaround jumper no good. A minute to go out of bar with the ball. 
Sarah Deo with it, rather that is Mishlogi. Julia Strachan back to Logie. Logie in for Deo. Deo loses it, Brianna Santos picking it up, able to tap it to Jade Went to Jackson to Gennaros, who is fouled as she threw the ball to Michaela Robinson. Jordan Laco called for the push, and Elizabeth Williams will replace Brianna Santos. Jade Wint takes a long two, no good. Sardeo fouled by Alex Gennaros. Push called against Gennaros. One and one is, that's the eighth team foul against the boxers. Deo at the line. It's her first attempt, earning a second. All tied up at 28 with 20.1 seconds to go. One or two at the line. Rebound tapped out of bounds off of Attleboro. Brockton takes over. There is no shot clock, 18.4. Plenty of time for the boxer's offense to set up, excuse me, in the Attleboro zone. Gennaro's throwing it in for Elizabeth Williams. Williams, the freshman, up to the senior Robinson to Jackson. Jackson loses it, can't recover. Laco off the glass, a little bit too strong. Gennaro comes down with the loose ball. Six seconds to go. The boxers have a little bit of time, and now yet another turnover. Unable to get a shot off the ball, bounces to Elizabeth Williams. And we go into halftime all tied up 28 to 28 in the first round of the MIAA South Sectional Tournament. The Brockton Boxers at the Attleboro Blue Bombardiers, 28-28 at halftime. And we're gonna step aside and take a short break and bring you second half action right after this. do anything for kids. Yet one in six children in the U.S. struggle with hunger. Help end childhood hunger near you. Learn how at feedingamerica.org. Ladies, gentlemen, boys and girls, basketball fans of all ages, welcome back into Attleboro High School for tonight's first round matchup in the MIAA South Sectional Tournament between the Brockton Boxers and the Attleboro Blue Bombardiers. Once again, I'm Matt Nelson, Mad Dog Matt Nelson, bringing you all the action courtside between the visiting boxers and the Blue Bombardiers. Julie Strachan coming up with a steal, losing the attempted three. Now Grace down low, counted in one for number 32, Sarah Deo. Well, the score coming into the second half is 28 to 28. Deo giving the Blue Bombardiers a two point edge. Looking to make that three 16 seconds in to the third quarter. Uh, Michaela. And good for him, the charity stripe is Deo. Johnny Jackson with it now. Trying to get it to Robinson. It's out of bounds off of Michaela Robinson. Adelboro takes over. Mish Logie with it. Over to Strachan. Strachan stops and pops for a long two off the front of the rim. Santos with the rebound for the Brockton Boxers. Quickly over to Jackson. Jackson to Gennaros. Back to Jackson. She takes a wide open three. It comes up short. Following her shot, fighting for the rebound, but it's taken by Samantha Pierce up to Grace Mayer. Mayer down low for Strachan. 
Sturgeon bouncing it over to Pierce. To the corner for Logie for three is no good. Santos and Dale fighting for the rebound. It goes to Dale. Now Logie down low off the glass and in. And a timeout called by the Brockton Boxers. Head coach April Digwell, 33 to 28. A 5-0 run to begin the second half. Elizabeth Williams is going to come in to replace Michaela Robinson. 6.36 to go in the third quarter now. And Brockton trailing by five. And once again, the winner of this game going on to face the 18-2 Mansfield Hornets. If it is the Brockton Boxers, who will be there as we continue the BCA Traveling Road Show. Animated head coach April Bingwell in the Brockton huddle. Santos, Jackson, Gennaros, Williams, and Fernandez, the five boxers on the floor for the Blue Bombardiers. It is Strachan, Deo, Pierce, Logie, and Grace Mayer. Brianna Santos looking for Jelani Jackson, overhands it to Elizabeth Williams. Williams loses it. Gets it back, loses it again, gets it back again, finds a hole down low for Fernandez, spinning, shooting, off the glass and in, and Brockton has their first points of the second half. 33 to 30 with 6.10 to go in the third quarter. Pierce to Logie. Logie back to Pierce, Pierce thought about the three, sends it down low, and fouls was Saradeo will be at the line for two shots. The third personal foul called against Brianna Santos. As Dale missing on her first attempt. Jade Wint going to come back into the game. As there goes one of two from the line. Went in, Brianna Santos takes a breather on the bench. Williams in for Jelani Jackson, six minutes to go now in the third quarter. Jackson looking to Gennaros. Gennaros down low for Wint. Wint spinning, shooting off the glass, no good. Offensive board for Fernandez. A little bit too much mustard on the layup. And a foul going to be called against number 32, Sarah Deo. Grace Mayer called for the hit, rather. Jade Wint will be at the line for two shots. on her first attempt, one possession game, 34-31. Jade Wint looking to make it a two point lead for the Blue Bombardiers. And it does just that. East Logie across half court. Over to Dale, Dale for Strachan from way downtown is good. Jackson up for Gennaro. Gennaro's losing it out of bounds, and it will be an Attleboro ball. Maybe hey, hey. setting up the Blue Bombardier offense. Pierce down low for Deo. Off the glass, no good. Gets her own rebound, puts it right back up and in. Jelani Jackson driving inside, loses it. It's loose on the floor. Out of bounds off of Attleboro. Brockton will have 22 seconds left on the shot clock. 4.55 left in the third quarter. 39-32, Attleboro on top. Stay on the 
Gennaro sending it long and deep, complete to Annalicia Fernandez. She hands it to Jelani Jackson. Williams for three, no good. And a travel, very alertly called by the officials. Called against Jordan Laco, who fell down to the floor. We have a dissenting opinion of the three officials here. Gennaros again sending it long this time for Jade Went to Williams, Williams to Fernandez, and she's called for the travel. Full court man defense for the Brockton Boxers now as Laco working her way in. Gennaro's called for the hand check. Uh, should have been called to travel against Laco. Nowhere to go with it. Pierce down low off the glass and in right off the inbounds. 41 32, nine point edge for the Blue Bombardiers. And Brianna Santos will come back into the game. Jelani Jackson to Jade Went, stopping and popping from the charity strike. No good, gets her own rebound, but it's ripped out by Deo. Three Brockton boxes, and the call for the travel is Sarah Deo. And she is very animated down low. Santos in, and Alicia Fernandez takes the breather on the bench. Grace Mayer replaces Mish Logie. Gennaro sending it in for Williams. Williams to Gennaro. Gennaro back to Williams. Finding a way inside, off the glass and in. 41 to 34 the score, seven point edge now for the Blue Bombardiers. Just north of halfway through this third quarter, 345 to go. Strachan fouled on her way up. We'll be at the line for two shots. Elizabeth Williams called for the push. me to get the mound for Alex Gennaros and April Dingwa and Jordan Laco running all the way across the court to see what head coach Stingwell was saying. Straight in to a two at the line, 43-34, back to a nine point edge for the Attleboro Blue Bombardiers. Elizabeth Williams bringing it up. Throwing it to Gennaros, back to Williams, in for Wint. Bad angle shot around the world and out. Ripped out by Williams. And a foul called against Attleboro. Sarah Deo called for the hold. Delani Jackson out to Santos for three is no good off the back of the rim. Offensive board to Jelani Jackson. Stopping and popping for two is good. 3-10 left to go in the third quarter. 43-36. Attleboro on top by seven. Laco looking to change that because it's a straight in. Pump fake. Stops, pops, gives it to Deo who is fouled on the way up. That's going to go against... Brianna Santos called for the hold and Annalicia Fernandez will come in to replace Santos and her four personal fouls. Some coaching from the hardwood for Jelani Jackson. Telling Brianna Santos, listen, let the help help. 
Elizabeth Williams now. Some of that aforementioned help laying it off the glass and in. And the boxer bench brings, comes to its feet for the bad angle flying through the air layup by Elizabeth Williams. Six point ball game. Straightchen for three is no good. Offensive board number 31 putting it up. And in that was Maddie Brown. Jackson to Elizabeth Williams. Williams the freshman spinning, putting this one up off the side of the glass. No good, brought down by Sarah Deo. Deo slowing up. Samantha Pierce will come back into the game for the Blue Bombardiers. Deo followed by Jade Wint. And check called against Wint. In what many would think is a soft call. Stretching out. Pierce and Logie back in. Smith to Pierce down low. Pierce bouncing it in for Deo. And another foul call. This one's going to go against Alex Gennaros. Called for the hold. She doesn't know what she did. Let's go Jabril Dingwell on the verge of earning a technical, screaming at the official very audibly right in front of us, saying on one end it's touch fouls, on the other end there's nothing. Seven to two in the call, touch fouls! So Alex Gennaros now in foul trouble with four personal. 17 fouls on the boxers who are in a lot of foul trouble. Tony Jackson all the way in off the glass and in. 150 to go in the interesting to say the least third quarter. 47 to 47 point edge for the Blue Bombardiers and some questionable officiating. Chris Mayer driving as a blocked by Jade Went, brought down by Jackson. Jackson up for Robinson. Robinson stopping and popping for three off the front of the rim, no good. Offensive board to Williams to win. Her rainbow three is good. 47 to 43, the boxers slowly but surely clawing their way back into this one. 47 to 43 with a minute and 10 left. Air ball brought down by Jelani Jackson. She slows up to create some separation against Sarah Deo. Now Jelani Jackson goes behind the back. Out to Williams. Williams thought about the long three. Gives it to Wint to Fernandez. All the way across to Wint. Spinning, shooting for two. In and out. Wint tapping the rebound. That should be a Brockton ball. They're going to give it to Attleboro. And Julius Strachan back in the game. Forty-six point eight seconds to go in the third quarter. Football pass is going to be intercepted by Jade Went, throwing it, and a travel called against Jade Went, who did not have possession of the ball. So Attleboro, full thirty-second shot clock, forty-three point six seconds. Deo for Pierce. Spinning shooting no good. Brought down by Deo. Puts it up and in. And back to a six point edge for the Blue Bombardiers. Went with a floater off the glass. No good. Brought down by Jordan Laco. Has it ripped out. And a jump ball called. And it will be a Blue Bombardier basketball. Twenty-five point seven seconds left now. Now it's no shot clock. Six point edge for the Blue Bombardiers. Forty-nine to forty-three. The score. Oh, 
All the way in, has her shot blocked, was number 23, Mish Logie, brought down by Annalisa Fernandez. Seven seconds left, Jelani Jackson spinning all the way in, off the glass, no good, Fernandez offensive board is fouled on her way back up and will be at the line for two shots with 1.7 on the clock. The hit called against Mish Logie. Fernandez, very good free throw shooter at the line for two shots. Missing her first attempt. And Alicia Fernandez. Trying to make it a five point ball game. 0 for 2, Samantha Pierce with the rebound, she holds the buzzer sound, and the third quarter has come to an end, 49 to 43, the score of the Attleboro Blue Bombardiers leading your Brockton Boxers by six points, entering the final eight minutes, again 49-43, Attleboro over Brockton at the end of the third quarter, we're going to step aside and take a short break and bring you fourth quarter action right after this. get caught buzz driving, and you could do some hard time. Craig, knock it off. Sorry, Mom. It could cost you around $10,000 in fines, legal fees, and increased insurance rates. And that could set you back a few years. Buzzed, busted, and broke. Because buzz driving is drunk driving. Welcome back into Attleboro High School for the fourth quarter of action. In this first round MIAA South sectional tournament game between your Brockton Boxers and the Attleboro Blue Bombardiers. Once again, I'm Mad Dog Matt Nelson, bringing you all the action courtside as this one thrown out of bounds. Jelani Jackson with it. Six point edge for the Blue Bombardiers, 49 to 43 is the score. And the winner of this game moving on to face the 18 and 2 Mansfield Hornets. Out of bounds off of Michaela Robinson. As the story of this game has been some questionable officiating on one end of the court, no, not so much the other. Seven fouls against the Brockton Boxers. Three fouls against the Attleboro Blue Bombardiers. Pierce down low, no good. Rather, that was Samantha Dale. Loose ball brought down by Fernandez. Three Blue Bombardiers can't rip it away. Jump ball called, and it will remain in Attleboro basketball. And Alicia Fernandez coming up with a steal off the inbounds pass. Three on one up court. Fernandez all the way and a block called against Julius Strachan. An offensive foul. They're going to change the call. One ref said it was a block. The other one said it was a charge. And now the official, the officials are going to have a conference. One said, uh, one said block, one said charge. The one whose whistle sounded said block. And it's going to be a charge against Annalicia Fernandez. And Coach April Dingwall looks disgusted. And rightly so. 18 fouls against the Brockton Boxers. Sarah Dale receiving the inbound pass. Giving it back to Mish Logie. Jordan Laco over to Logie for Pierce driving baseline. Throws up a prayer, no good. Brought down by Michaela Robinson. Robinson with four other Brockton boxers all the way up court. Sent out of bounds off of Mish Logie. Brockton will inbound with 26 seconds on the shot clock. It's 
Jelani Jackson one handing it to Robinson. She takes a three, looks good, and it is. Three point ball game, 49 46. The boxers have brought it to one possession. It's Grace Mayer getting ready to come into the game. Williams called for the push and one on one shooting situation. Missing her first attempt, will not get a second. Jade went flying out of bounds, taps it to Fernandez, gives it to Jelani Jackson. Williams thought about the three, gives it in for Fernandez, down low for Williams. Kicking out to Jade Went. Went protecting it, giving it to Williams. Williams to Jelani Jackson. Jackson stopping and popping for two wide to the left. Brought down by Sarah Dale. Straight in for a long three is good. 52-46, six point edge for the Blue Bombardiers. Jade Went thought about taking the shot, instead puts up a bad angle jumper, no good. Fernandez from down low, throws it into the arms of Samantha Pierce. Straighten on the other end. Off the glass and in for Dale, and Brianna Santos will come in. Understanding that her full personal fouls are at issue. Robinson losing it to Mayer. Now getting it back is Michaela Robinson out to Wint. Wint for three is good. 54 to 49, a five point edge for the Blue Bombardiers with 5.20 to go in the fourth quarter. Grace Mayer being assaulted by Michaela Robinson. And a timeout called by the Attleboro Blue Bombardiers. Brianna Santos will replace Elizabeth Williams. Five thirteen to go in the fourth quarter. Fifty-four to forty-nine. The score. Story of the second half: the fouls called against the Brockton Boxers that have been. Loose fouls at the very best. Nine against the Boxers and only three against the Attleboro Blue Bombardiers. Again, the winner of this game will move on to play the Mansfield Hornets. Head coach April Dingwell in the huddle right beside me, yelling, this is your time, suck it up. Don't be afraid of committing a foul. We've already got nine. The next one's a double bonus for the Attleboro Blue Bombardiers. Suck it up, take the hit. Worst that can happen is Attleboro gets a few shots from the charity strike. Jackson, Fernandez, Robinson, Jade Wint, and Brianna Santos. The squad for April Dingwell's Brockton Boxers. Sharpshooter Julia Stratham, Samantha Pierce, Sarah Dale, Grace Mayer, and fresh into the game, the 5'5 junior Kim White. Five thirteen to go in the fourth quarter in the first round of the MIAA South Sectional Tournament. Straight them for three is good. She's been hitting them all night long. Santos sidestepping over to Michaela Robinson. Robinson to Jelani Jackson. Once again, I'm Mad Dog Matt Nelson as Jelani Jackson slides down to the floor. Out of bounds off of that'll borrow 15 seconds on the shot clock. Santos overhead pass incomplete. Michaela Robinson chasing it down. 
due to an inbounds pass. Brockton didn't have clear possession, not a backcourt violation. Jelani Jackson to Fernandez, driving baseline now. Five on the shot clock, down low, Fernandez. Tapping it to Jade, went straight up, brought down by Deo. Deo assaulted by Fernandez. And Alex Gennaros will come back into the game. Gennaros, the sharpshooter, allegedly with four personal fouls as Brianna Santos comes up with a steal, driving all the way in. And a block called against Julius Stratham. Brianna Santos will be at the line. Fifty-seven to forty-nine, eight-point edge for the Blue Bombardiers. Santos good on her first attempt. Santos in. Michaela Robinson will take a breather on the bench. Four thirteen to go in the fourth quarter now, and Adelbar leading by seven. Brianna Santos looking to make that six. No good, and Alicia Fernandez with the rebound. Jelani Jackson for three is no good. Gennaros making her presence felt. Comes down with the rebound and fouled on her way up and will be at the line for two very big shots halfway through the fourth quarter. Good on her first attempt was Alex Gennaros. Two for two at the line, 57 to 52, a five point ball game. Brockton up and down have gone. The boxers bring it as close as one. As Samantha Pierce takes a three, no good. Gennaros with the rebound all the way up to Fernandez, a little bit too long. And Fernandez running full speed into the end boards. She looks like she's okay. Kim White out. Jordan Laco back in. Pierce over to Nish Logie. Logie to Stratham. Statham. To Dale down low, out to Logie, intercepted, tipped by Fernandez into the awaiting arms of Jade Went. Fernandez down low, throwing it out of bounds off of Jordan Laco. Brockton will have 27 seconds on the shot clock off the inbound pass. 23, 22. Jordan. 22. 320 left in the fourth quarter. Fernandez down low, and the ball is stuck. Jump ball called. Yeoman work there by Sarah Deo. It should be a, it's an Attleboro basketball. Deo handing it to Logie off. The inbound, Mish Logie working against Jade Went. Starting and stopping, handing it to Statham. Down low, no good. Brockton with the rebound. Jade Wint giving it to Alexander Gennaros. To Fernandez down low, and she is fouled and then tripping over number 32, Deo, who is getting up a little bit gingerly. She hit the back of her head on the hardwood, and I can tell you from personal experience, it's not a comfortable feeling. Sarah Dale holding her head, walking around trying to shake the cobwebs out. And will remain in the game. Two fifty to go in the fourth quarter. As Fernandez makes it a four point ball game. 57-53 the score. 
Once again, I'm Mad Dog Matt Nelson, bringing you all the action courtside. We want to take this opportunity to thank our cameraman for today's festivities. The one, the only, Mike the Postman Simmons, who might not have an opportunity to breathe for the rest of this game, as it is now a one possession ball game. Fernandez, two of two at the line. Jordan Laco to Mish Logie. Mish Logie getting around Jade Went, who lost an edge. Logie all the way down low off the glass, no good. Rebound to Annalicia Fernandez, starting stopping, giving it to Jelani Jackson. Two and a half minutes to go. Jade went to Gennaros. Gennaros finds the hole, throws it up, no good. But fouled down low was Alex Gennaros. Samantha Pierce called for the hand check. And that will be a one and one as Attleboro starting to catch up in team fouls. Seven for the Blue Bombardiers to the Boxers, nine. Head coach Rick Patch calling a timeout. 2.23 to go, and Gennaros will be at the line for a one and one situation. 57 to 50 score, a three point ball game, Attleboro on top, but Brockton has held steady to claw their way back into this game. Quick reminder, check our Twitter feed at the Brockton channel to keep up with everything in Brockton MIAA tournament action. Brockton High, Cardinal Spellman, Southeastern all falling under that realm. The undefeated Southeastern Regional Hawks hockey team the top seed in the MIAA Division III South Bracket plays Thursday night down at Gallo Ice Arena. Cardinal Spellman getting their victory in their first round matchup and they move on to the quarterfinal. As do the Brockton Boxers boys basketball team. 2.23 to go, Alex Gennaro set the charity stripe for a very big one in one situation. Jade Winton and Alicia Fernandez, the rebounding centers for the boxers. Gennaro hits her first attempt, two point ball game. Gennaro is two at two and we have a one point ball game. 57-56. Turn up the tension, two minutes and 20 seconds to go. Attleboro with the ball. Mish Logie with it, working against Jade Went. Trying to find the path inside. Gets it to Samantha Pierce. Pierce is gonna be called a jump ball and Brockton will take over. Grace Mayer in, replacing Jordan Laco, 5'1 junior. He's had a very large impact for the Blue Bombardiers tonight. Brianna Santos stepping inside the arc to Jade Went Jumper for two is good! And Brockton has their first lead of the second half, 58 to 57. Samantha Pierce says Attleboro has started to unravel. Grace Mayer down low off the side of the backboard. Gennaros comes down with the loose ball, gives it to Jelani Jackson. One, 30, one minute and 30 seconds says Brockton's going to waste out as much of the shot clock as possible. Annalicia Fernandez handing off to Jelani Jackson. Jackson out to Santos for three is no good. Straighten. Coming down with her straight chin, rather, for three is good. She's been hitting them all night and continues to do so. A two point edge for the Blue Bombardiers, 60 to 58. As now trading blows are the Boxers and the Blue Bombardiers, and a timeout called by head coach April Dingwell with 57.4 left in the fourth quarter of regulation. The Boxers 
momentarily had the lead and Julia Strachan, as has been the case all night, the 5'9 senior captain, has been nailing him from beyond the arc. And she gives the Blue Bombardiers back a two point lead. Fifty-seven point four seconds left in regulation of this one. The winner, of course, going on to face the eighteen to two Mansfield Hornets at Mansfield. If it's Brockton, we're going to have that game for you on Brockton Community Access. The BCA Traveling Roadshow continues tomorrow night at Mansfield as the Brockton Boys basketball team takes on the Hornets. And Friday night, we travel down Route 3 across the bridge through the Rotary to Bourne for the Boxer Hockey first round matchup against Franklin. Some confusion amongst the refs. Brockton calling the timeout. We'll have the ball right in front of their own bench. And Alicia Fernandez with inbounding duties. Trying to get it into Jelani Jackson. She does. Jackson creating some space. Giving it to Fernandez. To Gennaros for three is no good. Rebound to Samantha Pierce. She gives it to Strachan. Santos tripped up by Strachan. No whistle. Mish Logie now. They have taken a point off the board for Adelbar. They ruled that Strachan's last shot was a two, not a three. 30 seconds left. Samantha Pierce holding the ball. 10 on the shot clock. Adelbar is going to do something with it. Brianna Santos called for the foul. Doesn't know what she did. He's looking for an official explanation. Called for the hold. And the timeout called is Brianna Santos. He is irate on the bench. 24.1 seconds left. Brockton down by one, 59 to 58. Again, Julia Strachan hitting a two, not a three. Elizabeth Williams will replace the now fouled out Brianna Santos. Williams having a very good game, especially shooting. Putting the big man presence down low. Twenty-four seconds left. Again, Brockton trailing by one. Attleboro with two shots doing the honors of Sarah Deo at the line, the six foot senior center, tallest member of the Blue Bombardiers. So Williams joining Jackson, Fernandez, Winton, Gennaros on the floor. Sarah Day with the line for two very big shots. Missing her first. Anna! 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 That's gonna come up short. The rebound is loose. The scrum on the floor. A jump ball called. Brockton was trying to call a timeout. The refs clearly heard it. As getting up very, very gingerly is Sarah Deo. Deo holding her right leg. Deo holding her ankle. The clock has stopped due to the jump ball. Dave can hardly put any weight on her right leg and yet she remains in the game. She's hopping, she can't put any weight on her leg and the refs are not aware enough 
And Alicia Fernandez following Samantha Pierce. Dale coming over to the Attleboro bench to say, listen, I can't put any weight on my leg. You gotta do something, coach. And the ref saying, get back on the bench. Samantha Pierce at the line for two shots, 18.2 on the clock. Pierce good on her first attempt to make it a two point edge and Dale will come out of the game. Got her ankle twisted down low in that scrum for the loose ball. 60 to 58 and the final countdown comes over the speakers here at Attleboro High School. Again, we want to thank our cameraman for today's festivities, Mike the Postman Simmons, with yet another delivery to the viewers of Brockton. Bringing this first round of the MIAA South Sectional Tournament. The boxers, led by Jelani Jackson, the newest thousand point scorer for the Brockton Boxers. We're going to cap that mark off. The trip to the state tournament. Has some work to do, 60 to 58 to score. With 18.2 on the clock and Attleboro is at the line. Deo is somehow allowed to come back in. She's limping all the way down the court. So it's a de facto power play for the Brockton Boxers as Deo is doing all she can to Get the blood flowing in her right leg. Samantha Pierce at the line. Pierce two at two at the line, three point ball game. As Jordan Laco comes into the game for Strachan. Strachan won't spend too long on the Attleboro bench should the opportunity arise. 17 seconds left, shot clock is off. Jelani Jackson step back, three off the glass, no good. Alex Gennaros with it, 10 seconds left, being assaulted by Grace Mayer, she puts up a three, no good, brought down by Jordan Laco and a foul by Elizabeth Williams with 4.3 on the clock. Julia Strachan will come back in after the first free throw attempt by Jordan Laco. Sharpshooter has been pristine from beyond the arc tonight. Laco hits her first attempt to make it a four point ball game. We want Mansfield to chant from the Attleboro student section and barring a miracle, they'll get it. Jelani Jackson with a three off the glass, no good. The buzzer sounds and this one has come to an end. The Brockton Lady Boxers have been eliminated by a score of 63 to 58, falling to the Attleboro Blue Bombardiers in the first round of the MIAA South sectional playoffs. A very successful season for the Boxers and Jelani Jackson. Brianna Santos, among many other seniors on this team, move on to bigger and better things. But for everyone here at Brockton Community Access, our cameraman, Mike the Postman Simmons, by a final score of 63 to 58, the Brockton Boxers fall to the Attleboro Blue Bombardiers. I'm Mad Dog Matt Nelson, and we will see you next game.